Understanding Off the Air, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase off the air. This phrase is commonly used in broadcasting and has interesting implications in everyday English. Stay with us to uncover its meaning and usage. Off the air originally comes from the world of radio and television broadcasting. It means that a program is no longer being broadcasted. Imagine a radio station or TV channel that stops transmitting its signal. That's when they are off the air. It's important to understand this literal meaning to grasp its broader uses. In everyday English, off the air is often used figuratively. It can mean that someone is no longer available or has stopped communicating. For instance, if your friend stops responding to messages for a while, you might say they've gone off the air. It's a playful way to describe someone's absence from communication. The phrase can be used in various contexts. In professional settings, if a project or initiative is suddenly halted, an employee might say it's gone off the air. In personal scenarios, when someone chooses to take a break from social media, they're essentially going off the air digitally. Let's look at some examples. The radio show is off the air now. They stopped broadcasting at midnight. I haven't heard from Alex lately. Seems like he's off the air. Try creating your own sentences using off the air. That's all for today's lesson on the phrase off the air. We hope this has been informative and enjoyable. Remember, Learning English is a journey full of exciting phrases and expressions. See you in our next video, and keep practicing!